Welcome to DC 23. I'm Commissioner Mitchell. It's the splashed up to the minute updates. Okay, and these are my special guests. <laughs> but let's let's get into the whole thing about this update. Now, in the splash program, there's 32%, correct me if I'm wrong, and these guys will verify these numbers for me. Yes. There's 32% of the splash that goes toward EMS, fire and EMS. Fire EMS. There's 51% that goes to transportation. Correct. And then the other 17% goes to Parks and Rec. Right. So that's what the voters voted on. That's kind of where your, your splash dollars are being spent. And what my job is today is to just kind of talk with these guys and who I've got is Mr. David Good and I got Rick here. So you guys will introduce yourselves and talk about what it is that you do and what's your role in the whole splash makeup. Okay. Start with you, Mr. Good. All right, well, my name is, uh, of course, David Good. I'm the splash communications director. And what I do is I go out there in the community and let people know what it is that's going on. So once we make a presentation to the commissioners, the board of commissioners, I go out there and let them know this is what's been voted on. These are the things that are coming, you know, if it's coming into their neighborhood or if it's something that's going to be county-wide, such as the new radio system. So we're speaking of two, though, District 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we're talking correct. about county-wide. Correct. And all community is kind of your relationship with the community, correct? Correct. correct. Okay. So, Rick, you want to share with everybody sure. so the viewing sure. audience to know who you are? I'm Rich Bolane. I'm with Moreland <laughs> Altabelli Associates, and I'm the program manager for the Splash program. And basically, we manage the revenues coming in and then the itemized list of projects, making sure that we prioritize them and build them in that order. And speaking of the priority, the list is prioritized based on the Board of Commissioners so that you guys understand that there's a priority list correct. that these guys kind of follow to assure that your splash dollars are spent correctly correct. and based correct. on the order in which given by the Board of Direct, I mean, the Board of Commissioners. And what the voters voted and on. And what the voters voted correct. on. So let's, let's start with what's out there with okay. a year in, so finance-wise, dollars and cents-wise, where are we looking thus far? Finance-wise, we were looking to collect about $2 million a month, okay. $24 million for the total for uh -huh. the first year. Uh, through 10 months, we're about 400000 below where we thought we would be, which is about 40000 a month. It's roughly okay. 2%. Okay. So it's not, not bad. Uh, certainly nothing to worry about right now but it's just something to keep in the back of our mind as we move forward. But the ultimate goal is about $100 mil plus million plus that we're going to come out in a six-year splash to what this is all about, correct? Correct. Uh, oh. The Douglas County portion is $100 million for the six years. Wow. Yes. That's a good number. A good Great number. number. So yes. let's talk about some projects, though. So everybody yep. understand the finances. We've got all the yep. numbers. Let's talk about a couple of projects okay. that we can talk about that that's come to fruition okay. that we're actually dealing with. So I don't know, Dave, you want to share with a couple of projects that that's out there? I mean, we're, but, we're looking at one right now. <laughs> I mean, just right yes. here now, if you want to, you know, call it out right sure. now. So based on the fire at EMS, yeah. this is kind of one of the projects that came out of the equipment side of this. So Correct. let's talk about this particular project just as of right now. Okay, well, really, um, when you talk to the voters, a lot of times they want to have things that are going to be both helpful and educational. Okay. So that's exactly what this firehouse does, is that it's both mm -hmm. needed and it's educational. So right. therefore, if a person needs to figure out, hey, how do I get out of my house? This is a perfect thing, especially for when a kid is actually home alone. Got Not it. saying little children, but right. teenagers, yeah. when they're home alone, this will teach them exactly how do they end up getting out of a fire situation. Got it. So this is just one of the projects, of many, mm -hmm. that we've actually purchased that cost us roughly... This was, I think, $118,000. Got it. Got it. And, okay. Uh, Any other future equipments that's... Let's take the projects now and sure. the categories that we've got some projects that are out there. So let's start with EMS. Sure, What's, fire EMS, okay. the 32%, the biggest project we okay. have is the digital radio system. It's basically okay. upgrading the 911 system to 21st century technology. So uh, that contract was awarded about two months ago to Motorola, okay. and we're just getting started with that. You'll see that come uh, start to move into construction later this year. Uh, a couple other equipment purchases we did for the fire department, bought a brand new ladder truck, $1.3 million ladder truck, a pumper truck yes and, yes. Uh, and a new ambulance to replace some of the older ambulances behind us right now all so. of this out of equipment yeah. out of the 32 percent out of the 32 percent category uh, yep. got it yes and anything uh, else i mean uh, and then also of course we end up having um, fire station two and fire station four re-roofed so those are definitely That's correct and, and we use yeah. local contractors i believe for both of those yeah. what about some transportation projects that are out there that we can transportation kinda... okay. we just finished up last fall we finished up that first year of uh, the paving program mm -hmm. i think mm -hmm. we paved 14 and a half miles of road Got roughly you. three million dollars uh, we have a number of intersections in the design phase there's nine intersections in the total splash program we're in design in four of them right now Got you'll start to see some of the construction happen later this year okay. on some of them we're also buying equipment for douglas county the 
the DOT. We okay, purchased okay. a paver, asphalt okay. paver, correct, a roller, and uh, some other miscellaneous okay, equipment. Okay, let's let's move into Parks and Rec because this is going to be a quick minute. Now we don't yeah. want to count because yeah. we're going to be doing updates on a, yep. on a quarterly correct. or monthly yep. basis. But let's talk about some quick Parks and Rec items that are out there and that's moving in sure. in that direction. Parks and Rec right now down at Boundary Waters. Okay. Uh, we're looking at a new. Uh, uh, restroom concession and press box okay. and some soccer field lights. Okay. Uh, the, the concession area is in design right now, so we're finishing up that and then uh, the soccer field lights, you'll see that happen later this summer. Uh, we've got a new rec center also going at Boundary mm -hmm. Waters yeah. that we just awarded to an A&E firm, architect okay. engineering okay. firm, okay. Okay. so okay. they'll get started on the design of that. Uh, Deer Lick Park, uh, new tennis courts, okay. a new lighting for okay. those tennis courts, we're working on that. Right. So we're busy in the Parks and Recs, and Absolutely. then we got the Senior Citizen Center that's down the road, and that's, that's coming down the road. So That's still in the evaluation phase, yes, so yes, that'll yes. be coming we're, soon. We're working it out. So yep. are, there, are there any closing remarks that we want to share before we kind of get out of here and get ready for the next update? Well, one of them actually okay. is the fact that we'll be doing surveys both for the um, Senior Center and also for the um, New Community Center. So people will actually know to find out what's exactly going to go into these places. Got it. You know, it's your facility. Yes. Therefore, tell us what you want in it. Right. In that brick and mortar. Correct. What would you like to see within that brick and mortar? Correct. Oh, yeah. Good and, stuff. Good and stuff. so those are things that we're putting out there. So that's what your job is, to, to, yes. to out there in the community, having that kind of conversation, quick conversation with these guys as to Correct. what they want in it. Just Not only just the brick and mortar. Mortar, which is kind of like brick and mortar cost that's what it is now what we want to see inside that senior citizen center what we want to see in that community center and so on correct 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 okay anything else final comment if you're a, okay. a business here in Douglas County and you think you can help on the splash program go to our website look us up and uh, we're always looking for local businesses to and we'll put out. your website right here and you'll see the website so we can kind of get these people and get engaged awesome. and we need to kind of get the community engaged not only from the mere fact of what they want within this brick and mortar but to also spend and this whole splash dollar because the, we want to make sure that we get these guys engaged from a contractor perspective, correct? Correct. correct. David, how can they reach you? Um, they can reach me basically through the same way, just going to the um, to the website and you'll see the emails drop down and uh, reach me that way. And if you still want to reach me right now, dmgood2095 at gmail.com. Got it. And remember, buy locally, spend locally, be local. You got it. Hey, that's the Splashed Up to the Minute update. Stick around. There's more to come. There's more projects. And we're going to be spending uh, roughly about five years, six years of this whole project. So yep. there's a lot to come. Stay tuned. DC 23. I'm Commissioner Mitchell.